is the Gatekeepers Podcast with Billy Grove. Billy is an innovative leader in the industry and loves teaching how to build quality fence. So sit down, grab a cold beverage, and get ready to talk about fence. Today's show is sponsored by Mr. Fence Academy. If you're looking to hit the next level in your fence company, check out Mr. Fence Academy. And now, live from the Mr. Fence Academy studios, here's your host, Billy Grove. Hey, I got it almost right. I forgot to hit unmute on the microphone. How's everybody doing on this Tuesday night? Corey, how are you doing? I am glad to be sitting down. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So close to being perfect on that one, brother. Um, we have to uh um like apologize for last week, uh, but everything ends up working out for a reason. Our guest had um like an emergency situation, and uh thankfully everything is okay with uh Shane's mom. But also, Corey and I were both sitting down at lunch that day, and we were just, we were just not, just we were done. just, we were just not feeling good, man. Both of us were feeling nauseous. We were done. I had, um, a, base, I had a baseball game that night. Yeah, so uh, we do apologize for that last week, but I didn't have a script written up if we didn't have a guest. So at the end of the day, it all worked out. Um, I do want to go ahead and uh, thank uh, Mr. Fence Academy for sponsoring uh, like tonight's show. I also want to thank Las Vegas Fence for this awesome uh, shirt that I'm wearing uh, right now as well. Nice. I am wearing a gatekeeper shirt. <laughs> you can't see it because he's got his um, like Halloween button up that he wears year year round. Yo, I sold 40k this week. Er, Let's uh, go. Thank you. Let's go, baby. Gatekeepers. Let's go. All right, so since we haven't been here in a week or two oh, weeks, um, like we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go ahead and go over how was your last week? I know it was kind of crazy, brother. I tell you what, I am learning what it is to be a baseball dad, and you know this is my you know I have four sons, but you know only one of them is in baseball this year, and uh, it's his first years in coach pitch and. I wasn't, I was volunteering to help out. I wasn't volunteering to be a coach. Well, I ended up getting thrown in there. And so now I, I love it. And I'm, but now I'm the, I'm the, I'm the coach pitch. Like I, I, I pitch to the kids like in the games and everything. So like, so now I'm like, I'm making sure I'm there early. I'm there for every single practice. I'm there helping out with all the kids. Uh, you know, you got some of these uh, nine and 10 year olds, some that are my height and you have some that are like three foot tall yep. and they're hitting areas are so different man it's such a pain and it's oh but it's so much fun but I tell you, so I, i'm trying to learn how to juggle doing all the business stuff and um you know making sure i'm there for all of that and just try to make those memories and i tell you what that's it's been one of the best times is, is, is getting able to do that with my son like every day like we had practice yesterday we had practice today literally ran estimates all day wrote wrote quotes Left out of here, uh, did a three, uh, did a three at a three o'clock. Both neighbor quote today sold both of them. Left out of there like 4 15, 4 30. Shagged us to the ballpark, was there from five to six thirty. Dropped him off, hollered us here, got here at 7 10. Podcast 7 15, ready to rock. Yeah, man. Woo! Yeah, man. Busy times, busy times. Yeah, man. So, uh, not this past weekend, but the weekend before last was my son's 14th That's birthday. Right. So, um, that was a good time. I mean, I told you, you know, well, I mean, shit, I mean, we're on the air anyways. I might as well um, like go ahead and say it like he hurt my feelings that weekend, but you know, it, it is what it is, man. I get a 14 year old with their, uh, Oh yes. I forgot to, to I'm gonna turn the light on. So basically he was, uh, just caught up in the moment with his friends and, uh, they were supposed to come back and, uh, let me know that they were ready to go to sky zone. But he called me like 45 minutes after. After they were at at, at uh, my sky zone, and was like, "Oh, hey, by the way, I'm having five kids stay the night." And I was like, "Well, you know what? It's probably a good thing that I didn't come because I had to start the grill immediately, and I didn't get off the grill until like nine thirty. Oh, you are, but, you are the grill master. Like but you. but but all the kids were fed. Um, we had a good time, and um, and then the week before, we hired a new guy. Yeah, um, he started Monday. 
Yeah, man, I am, I am, I am super excited about him. Um, oh, dude, you and me both. He's I up so much for both of us. I think he's going to be a great crew leader. I think he's going to be able to train people as well. I think he's going to be able to take a lot of responsibility off of both of us. Absolutely. Both of us. He wants to do sales. Um, he wants to do installs. He wants to be an all around uh, go getter for the company, and that's what we've been. That's what we've been needing with yeah. somebody who is versatile like we are down ready to learn he does you know not not conflicting even though he has prior fence experience he's up to uh, learning our ways of doing things and hell on the one of the most bs jobs of the year so far that was whipping everybody's ass he's like man that was the best day of fencing i've had in forever i'm like well i'm glad you like that one that's gonna be one of the worst ones so. bro it's a pretty backyard but i can't stand all the azalea bushes up next yeah. to the fence line man it is it, 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 i'm not gonna bitch but you know we're gonna be like we're gonna be, the, the job is done it is paid a client is should be paid i gotta check on that one but yeah uh no he told me it was paid oh sweet I yeah seen notification yet. yeah no, no no he uh said it was paid whenever i was leaving the day Thank you. Um, but um what that means is um i'm out in the field for another 60 days and that was uh my choice and uh basically it was it was uh it was a uh choice to make revenue absolutely and um we got the right person and i feel like my 60-day sacrifice is worth it is it's just absolutely worth it it's just hard from where we're at right now we're still in the re you know we're still only you know three and a half four months post leg break you know yeah from where from half from literally starting the year off with nothing well, no not just that there's no nothing well not just that but like all of the good companies that we want to sub work to are fucking book for six weeks. our book for six weeks yeah. so we're stuck with two or three four three 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 we have three and it's like even those guys are booked out and yeah. you know we can't it, it's it got to a point to where it's like all right we need one in-house crew they need to cover the overhead and the sub crews cover the profit and um you know, so I think there's a new way we're doing it. It's going to work out great. I'm so excited for it. I mean, it's already worked out better. I mean, that was just in two days that I didn't have to be out there helping you with stuff. I was able to secure 40 grand in sales just in two days. So, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with it the way we're doing it and getting back on stuff. So, uh, but man, I'd say without further ado, we get Mrs. Uh, Miss Susan K. Worley on here. What? Let's do it. I realized I was way, way far away from the mic. You know, you can do that too, right? What's that? Oh. Hey there, Miss Susan. How are you? Hey, Good. How are y'all doing? I'm glad you're feeling better. Yeah. There's that smiling face. Yeah. Hey, Miss Susan. I'm glad your oh. leg's healing too. Last time we talked, you were still kind of rolling around some. Uh, was it? yeah. Mm, yeah, probably. no, you were at. Walker, you probably. were you were still in the wheelchair. Was I in the wheelchair then? You were in the wheelchair. It was like the your first episode on, like, yeah. legit on. The wheelchair. Walk. Yeah, yeah, you that, asked that me like it. a thousand questions. You got to be thorough. Gotta be thorough. <laughs> it's, not, it's not every That's day boring. you get to have Miss Susan K. Worley on there. I got to take advantage of it, darling. Let's go. <laughs> well, thank you for having me back. I'm excited to be here. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, you're our first return, um, like, guest. And, um, you know, we love it. We love the, um, like, support that you give us every week and all that. Go ahead. Other than, um, well, people don't know, I get to talk to you, like, every Monday yeah <laughs> yeah yeah um yeah yeah we do we do our um, like demo days thing um every monday at uh my time four and um it's always a great conversation i love all of the uh ideas being thrown about i love all of the work that's being um, like done right now it's uh it's really great i, I am super pumped for the show oh yes i'm just be our first it's gonna be one, awesome. man. i agree yeah Tires, yeah absolutely all so, right so hey like, uh, super funny story real fast can, can i throw a funny story in real fast Please do it do thank it you. do it do it so you know last week gatekeepers purchased a, an ad and the fence magazine so i went to go text you to kind of say hey there's a deadline coming up like you know i, I need this ad from you and i sat there like digging through my phone for hours i don't have your name under um in my phone is billy grove i have it as bully grove <laughs> and I think Grove. it's perfect. I refuse to change it. <laughs> you know, there is there's a lot of things I've been called, but bully is 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 not one of them. Not one of them. That is <laughs> awesome. That is awesome. I love it. 
for the so I refuse to change it. I know how to find it now. <laughs> That's funny. For the longest time, uh, especially back when I was in motorcycles, anytime I make a new motorcycle friend, I just put their name on my phone and what kind of bike they rode. So it was like Koi CBR 600. Tim, Yamaha R6, like or R1, like it was just like I knew which bike they were. That's hilarious. No, seriously, like that's, that's my go-to, like gatekeepers podcast, Billy, right? So like yeah. I literally I looked up gatekeepers, I looked up, I mean, all kinds of stuff. And finally, like I was like, let me just do a like a you know, I had a, a Facebook message from you with your phone number and I found it and I was like, wow. There it Billy is, Bully Groom. Little- Bully for the win. Bully for the win. That's awesome. (laughs) All right. So for our uh, viewers that don't know, tell us just a real quick little bit about who you are, what you do, where you're out of. Um, I am Susan K. Worley. I am the executive director of the Fence Workers Association. Um, I actually live in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, but um, FWA is kind of like, out of Las Vegas itself, kind of where the home and the heart is. So I'm there as often as I can be. Um, I actually just got back from Las Vegas. It was a very successful trip. Um, we, we did a lot of planning. We got a lot of organization done. And then we went to ISC West, which is like one of the biggest security trade shows in the U S. Nice, nice, nice. So, um, with that being said, I didn't realize you're out of bat nerd. That's awesome. So it yeah. All I your am. Vegas I'm not ex- that's that's what's up. I love it. Um, so whenever we go to Vegas in September, so since you go there all the time, we're gonna get like a VIP tour, right? You're gonna show us the do's and the don'ts and all that good stuff. Literally, I only <laughs> stay at South Point every time I go. This last time I was there, they were actually sold out and I didn't get to stay there. I know my way around South Point like the back of my hand. When I discovered that there's actually more than one bowling alley and how to get there, like that was a game changer for me. Like that place is they, huge. I wouldn't think Susan likes you. bowling. Hey, okay. Susan likes bowling. Yeah. I can I can bowl a solid uh, 88, 95, you know, somewhere in there. Yeah. I can break 100 every once in a while. Yeah. yeah I'm like yeah. 101, 102. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be down for the beer. No, bro. Thank you. Yeah, $7 beers. Come on. Oh. Only place in Vegas you can find it. Jesus Christ. That's and terrible. That's, and that's why. I would. That's <laughs> terrible. Have you ever been on the strip? They're like $35 beers. Uh, oh, my I have, God. I have, le- I have legit never been to Vegas. Neither one of us have. I have never been to Vegas. The farthest Ooh. west I have been is Kansas City, Missouri. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm pumped. And so, I mean, like for anybody who knows, who like actually knows me, like your thing is the tattoo in Vegas. Yeah. I'm going to an EDM show. A what show? An EDM show. Like, like. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. So. Can't like, wait. I love, you know, I, I'm, I'm all, I'm fully, t- I'm fully tatted. I'm covered in, I, uh. One of my favorite tattoo artists is actually based out of Vegas. And so I'm like, oh, I got to see if he's got openings while we're there. Because one night I'm going to try to dip out and I'd love to go get tattooed by this guy. And so that's that's going to be part of my little goals is my last little mini vacation I went. I got just a spur of the moment tattoo on my leg. Um, like every time I go out of town, like, you know, that's, that's a great memory, memory. You know, T-shirts get lost and fucked up. But hell, you get a badass tattoo, man. That's, that's a story and a half. You are coming skydiving. Oh, come on! I'm going skydiving. I'm going it's skydiving. It's an opportunity to break the other leg. I, I have no idea. Are you going? I have no idea. All I know is if Koi shows up, and if he actually shows up, I'm going skydiving at sunrise over the Las Vegas desert. Absolutely awesome. doing it. Absolutely. Doing I will it. say like, Las Vegas is way more beautiful than you even realize it with the mountains in the background and, and the desert. It, it's a beautiful valley. Yeah. Yeah. I'm wow, I'm pumped to go. I am so looking forward to it. Make sure we have to take plenty of spending money. So anyway, Miss Susan, let me just get, get some interview questions going. Uh with the Fence and Security Show coming up, what are some of the big highlights that you want that uh, you want to make sure we pinpoint during our podcast? You know the who, the what, the when, the where, the how. 
Uh, what are some uh, good highlights that people need to be paying attention to and stuff you're getting ready for the show coming up in a, five months away now? Yeah. Yes, it's five coming fast. Away. Like, I, I can't even keep up. Um, there's a lot of things to really highlight. I think to maximize your time at the show, you definitely need to get the education slash VIP pass. Um, I have the education courses about 50% full right now, um, including, you know, education from Caleb, Caleb Roth on uh, staining. Um, I have Tiffany Stewart doing entity structuring for a strategic benefit. We actually just did a podcast just before this one where she kind of highlighted. Really, some I really enjoyed that podcast. I wish I could have copied and pasted and like screenshotted like the video to send it to you. Dude, she is smart. She is brother, so smart. Dude, I was listening and I was like, oh my God. I was like, all, everything that she was saying makes total sense. Yes. Total, it was super, total, like, I cannot wait for her to go into detail. Like, it was, it was super impressive. It was a lot of like entity structuring, LLC, S Corp. Oh, how, how, work, how to DBAs. do it without how to do it without getting screwed by the government tax structuring is, yes is, is basically what she was talking about that's what i was picking up okay. i was i was picking up how to maximize your entity structure okay that's what's from, absolutely from absolutely. what she was saying some really good info she put out earlier it really was um, I've got Andrea Patterson doing inventory and stock control because I know that there's a huge issue in the fence industry. I have people constantly coming around talking about like our biggest issue at our company is inventory and stock control. Um, I've got Justin Judy doing an amazing uh, course on AI stuff. Like I can't even tell you the name of it because like it's like over my head. And that guy like is all about his Super AI. Top secret. Super yes. top secret. Kind of have a top it really plan, is. So. I even have uh, Jorge Velasquez with Sport Offense um, agreed to do another Spanish course uh, last year. His course was on software and the different types and like straight up like. <laughs> He's a child with but with pretty glow up buttons. Over I'm here. a child <laughs> with pretty <laughs> buttons over here. <laughs> That's just because I love my homie Victor, and I remember the interview that it yeah. all kicked off on. I yeah. mean, dude, yes. he calls me at least, at least three times a month, and I love I love talking to him. So every time I hear anything about that, I'm like, yes, wonderful job, Victor, getting that ball rolling, man. Good job with that. No, seriously. Um, on, on the women of FWA leadership team, we just added in Monica with Ideal Fence. And like she's in the process of helping us like make all of our forms available in Spanish as well that are available on the FWA site and the women FWA uh, site. Um, because like we forget that, you know, just because somebody's signing something that they don't understand, we still have a level of legality there. Like, right. yes, he changed it. Right. And I don't even know if it was on purpose. <laughs> no, I think that's very smart, especially, you know, because dem demographics change and you know there's just because you know uh, i i think that's a phenomenal idea you know i used to work offshore a lot and we used to go into houston all the time there's certain parts of south houston channel view texas area where english is a second language absolutely is yeah. and so i think absolutely by the fwa offering different spanish courses and other you know things like that it just uh, honestly just opens up more room for productivity more room for advancement more than everything just because more people get access to the knowledge so no, I think that's phenomenal. That's a great idea. It's not even just Texas, yeah. man. When I lived in Maryland, uh, Silver Springs, Maryland, you go downtown, you will not see a billboard in English for ten miles. No shit. No shit. Right. You know, like, I've been seeing around here a lot more billboard. There's yeah. a syphilis uh, billboard in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> the new guy said that today. Whenever we were on the way home, yeah. he was he, on the way to that job. He goes. He goes. He goes. Was I just half asleep, or does the other side of that billboard? say the same thing but in spanish and i was like no 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 you saw that it is a syphilis billboard <laughs> yeah it is. That, and and information that. is power y'all that's, uh, that's pensacola in a nutshell pensacola in a nutshell yeah there we go <laughs> sorry i'm sorry but yeah even even the finch university just did their first gate operator kickstart kickstart course in spanish so 
yeah, we're, we're completely on board with helping educate everybody, not just the majority. And honestly, not even the majority anymore, starting to become less. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, um, no, that's phenomenal. Um, now, are the courses pretty well spread apart to where people, you know, you don't have to pick and choose like, oh, well, I really want this one, but damn, it's the same time as this one. Are they pretty well like spaced out to where, you know, you can hit as many as possible? Yes. Or? Yes and no. Um, I'm trying to set them up in tracks to where like if you were trying to learn more about like business or learn more about like technology, like you can see how the technology courses are kind of set up. But honestly, uh, just like anything else FWA does, it is the Wild West. First come, first serve. You pick your slot and right. uh, we go from there. So. I got you. I got you. Cause that's going to be one of the things that I want to focus on in there is uh, just, you know, I, I'm a slut for knowledge. I love like, just, I, I can never know enough. I can never right. know enough, especially with stuff like this, where I got all the different, you know, the, the you know, brains that are just, the you know, just, Oh man, I'm, I'm looking forward to just the, the learning aspect. Yeah. To see everybody and see all the cool booths and exhibits, but just the fact that it's going to be all the fencing knowledge in one place for one week. Like, I mean, it's, if you're it not is, going to yourself, then why are you going? Right. Agreed. Oh, and yeah. it, it, we even go a step further and we allow exhibitors to actually train on their product line. So like Door King has two or three separate classes. Um, AES has three separate classes, depending Ooh. on what line of product you're trying to learn, um, where you can actually sit down, get that one-on-one -on -one time, ask them questions and get an overview of the product as well. So like we're coming from it from a couple of different standpoints. So like you can grow your business, but you can also grow your product knowledge base. Cause sometimes at the booth, you don't always have that kind of time to interact. It's yeah. loud, you know, they're busy people all around you. Yeah. It's fast paced. So you get to touch something, you get to talk to somebody and then you move on to the next booth. But with education courses, like like I said, D&D Technologies is doing two courses. Ken Cove is doing two courses. So I like it's that. exciting. So we do have, so we can kind of let some info out about the courses then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So um, can you give us kind of a uh, quick rundown on some of the courses offered and all of the uh, different tracks? So the tracks I don't have finalized yet because that's really hard, y'all. Yeah, <laughs> like, seriously. I bet it is. But, um, but like I have commercial billing and lien waivers, um, inventory and stock control. Um, I have an entire course on basic operations for structuring your business. Um, I have uh, a couple of courses on like, uh, like Heather King's doing a course on, it looks like boundaries um from uh employee to owner and an owner to employee in both directions um okay aes is doing a wireless loops course uh, they're doing their new gate master course and a whole telephone entry um let's see what else i have here i got one tap connect doing a class on their product line and then also a separate course on um like marketing and and closing sales and stuff like that it's not complete it's actually probably only at a 30 percent completion rate um but josh glover did a really great course last year that i'm hoping he'll do again this year so if you're watching josh um, my alarm's supposed to go off tomorrow to confirm that and then um i reached out to dan blanc who is a great educator as well so i have a lot of really great people in the pipeline i'm just waiting on confirmation and being able to choose their time slots nice 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 and that's something that we talked about on our meeting yesterday it just you know it just kind of like how everybody waits till about two months before and then they start blitzing like uh yes just uh, like blitzing it so well i may not be an educator per se but if you don't know that I'm not an expert in that field, I'll bullshit enough if you need an extra person to talk. So I can damn sure talk. Don't worry. That's coming. That's coming. I have a list of people to reach out to that I have a connection with. I have a list of topics that need to be discussed. And <laughs> yes, I'll be reaching out to you. Don't worry. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And, and now um, that you've yourself. What now? 
I said, and now that he's volunteered himself, there will be a course on, uh, I don't know You're what yet, now. but. You're stuck now, buddy. <laughs> and of course, I know Sean is doing his overdrive course at oh, the show. Very nice. Very correct. Nice. I'm sure if he told you he was, I believe him. All right. Well, I've just been seeing a couple things on uh, on the fence pages about it. So, I mean, he didn't tell me he was Sean. I, if you're not, I know he did bad. last year. Yeah, I know he did last year. I know he has taken on a, a lot more responsibility this year with the demo days, which is kind of his baby. And so, like, let's get through demo days. Let's finish getting that completely organized and filled up, and then. And then I'll use and abuse him for all his extra knowledge. There you go. There you go. Heck yeah. Heck uh, yeah. So speaking of demo days, um, everything demo days. I mean, there's going to be so much stuff going on during that time. Um, what are some key things like with demo days that you think people should be paying attention to or making sure? What are some stuff you got on that? Well, I definitely I believe you want to be ahead, there too. early. No, yeah. I'm saying I, I really think you need to be there early. I think you need to do the whole day. Originally, demo days was supposed to end at like 4 or 5 p.m. on Monday. I've extended it um, to 7 p.m. so that you can get yeah. every ounce of every moment out of it. Right, right, right. Yeah. So, so really, I want to jump in here and yeah. say this. Um, guys, if there's any manufacturers watching like right now, like feel free to email me, email Miss Susan. Uh, we are both pipelines to getting a booth out at Demo Days. If you want your product showcased and you would love to have people to use it and realize how great your product is, give us a ring, guys, because we would love to have you guys out there. And the more booths we get, the cooler it's going to be for all of you guys. So even if you're just an installer or an owner or whatever you may have you and you have an idea say hey i, I would like to see such and such a um like pitch drop it. a comment pitch it send it yeah pitch it send it because i mean like i said in our on my zoom call yesterday i spent thursday what i spent 45 minutes an hour emailing like 40 50 manufacturers because i know you were like what are you doing over there you're just oh, typing yeah. away <laughs> And I was like, I'm typing the same email over and over and over again. Because every time I go to a new page, it won't copy. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, seriously. And like, I've done the statistics on it. 56% um, people are more likely to actually purchase your product after a full hands-on demonstration. And out of that 56, 78% are more likely to buy it right then and there. Like, if that's not an opportunity, I really don't know what else is. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm I'm really looking forward to it, and I'm really hoping we get some cool manufacturers out there. I know we already got a uh, we got a couple out there so far, and I'm looking forward to those. Um, but also, dude, like we're gonna have a whole beer garden that nice. is in the middle of a tent fence maze. Um, Susan, we're gonna have I'm correct when I say this, right? We're gonna have a band out there as well. Yeah, so okay. we're going to have somebody playing in, in, uh, a guitar during the day because obviously we've got people like Sean, like running all kinds of events during the day in the evening from five to 7 PM. We are doing the demo days happy hour on, on a uh, Tuesday evening. And so we're pulling out like an entire, like this giant, like light up DJ van or something like that from what I've been told. And so, yeah, it'll be a party. It'll be an event. Yeah. I, yeah, I, it's yeah. amazing in Vegas. And I keep hearing, yeah, we're doing this and then party, doing this and then party. Doing this. <laughs> yes, oh. yes. If there's beer, they will come. <laughs> oh my, my poor, poor non-drinking best friend. It's okay. okay. Maybe okay. cola. Okay. I'll have a coke out though for you. Don't worry. You go. That's all I ask right there. Let me have a coke. Yep, that'll be fine. <sighs> well, you know. Yeah, it was a yeah. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. It's Vegas. <laughs> it is Vegas. It's Vegas. So um I think Mariah is 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 your wife still going? My wife, dude, my wife's best friend is like meeting us Wednesday. 
Word. Okay. Yeah. And my, she is absolutely you know. going. Like, um, like Olivia's already bought her plane ticket to Vegas, right. and she's gonna stay in the uh, like in the couch in our room. That's what's up. Yes, my what's wife up? is definitely going. All right. Um, so we did just talk about the the um, like happy hour, aka the kickoff party. But um, you know, I already talked about that one. Yeah. Um, what's uh? So now, Miss Susan, now I know now you've, you've taken that director spot with FWA. Are you still with? Are you you're still running the other company too? Right. No, I'm not. Okay. So you're 100 percent FWA now. Yes. Thank you, Al. That is awesome. That Executive is awesome. director has a nice ring to it. Yeah, it does. I don't know what the job title uh, requires, but um, I just show up and do stuff. It sounds, <laughs> sounds good. It sounds good. Hey, man. Um, our meeting like two weeks ago, whenever uh, Yadira was like, yeah, and we're going to want everybody to come out. I was like, yeah, please fly me out. I'll be right there. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Susan, I just oh, yes. realized I don't have my hat on. You don't have your hat on. I don't have, oh, you don't have your hat on. Oh, I didn't. You should just know, like, if I'm coming on or Brian's coming on, like, you, you got to follow suit. Uh, You're going to have it uh, in Vegas, it, right? It was. Oh, yeah. He's going to have it oh, in Vegas. Yeah, I get one of things. There, uh, I literally I got here five minutes before the damn show started. I mean, it was rough. Yeah. But I saw this uh, cowboy hat on TikTok that I fucking loved it. This guy was custom making it, and he heated the top up and cooled it down. He heated the top up, cooled it down, did this like four or five times, like set it on fire, and it was done. Like the permanent imprint on top of the hat was a skull. Oh, nice! That nice. was cool. Nice. I'm like that is like that's 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 <laughs> you know, black Stetson with a skull inside of it. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh man, all I can imagine is like New Orleans, like straight up uh, uh, voodoo dog. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. That's it right there. That's Susan's backyard. That's my people. That so, is. I love New Orleans. I love. I, that's really crazy. I, I hate New Orleans, but I love Cajun people. How's that? I love New Orleans. New Orleans is awesome. So I used like so I used to work on tugboats a lot, and we stayed in New Orleans all the time. We're always through South Louisiana, the intercoastal waterway, back and forth from Texas, you know, through and through. I've been through every lock, every river, every canal, through back up in there, and. um I tell you what, man, being over there in Cajun country is some of the best. We'll have some random boat pull up to you at like a seven o'clock in the morning with just buckets of crawfish, and you're over there bartering. <laughs> you got no damn cash on you. We're like, I'll give you coffee bricks. I give you your, right. your bartering whenever we can to get them. Uh, that was, I mean, that was back before like credit cards where you could just swipe on people's phones and shit. That was back some blackberries and shit. Back right. Then. But, uh, oh, man. So they get some of the hardest working non-understandable fucking people ever you get some of this deep <laughs> game you can't understand a word they're saying man <laughs> oh my god <laughs> like well, you're I back love them, there though. at it huh I love them. yeah all right so um last and final topic we're gonna talk about um first off we're gonna talk about the fence games um are we we're still doing fence games inside right Billy, have you even been coming to the meetings? Yes, yes, I have. But I, I was so, I was so like absolutely sure that fence games was inside and the fence competition was outside. <laughs> no, the fence games, I believe, are going on during demo days, and then the fence competition, I believe, is going on Thursday. But no, no, we talked God, to Sean so yesterday, right. and I think, but hold on, we talked to Sean yesterday, and he restructured the whole thing, so. He came up with a better idea because remember he was talking about um let me pull out my notes he was talking about the deck guy oh yeah wood bully yeah he was talking about wood bully and like bully grove not to be confused you know. <laughs> i got you on that one <laughs> <laughs> and just how like you know he was like I'll, I'll take anybody on so like this is our opportunity to call out anybody who's just like i can do this i can take anybody on i can take on the world okay hey, we'll come on and show yeah. everybody who said that all right so uh basically we're trying to every day. so um sean 
yesterday in our meeting, he said that he had watched a TikTok video from Wood Bully, and you know who that is, right? No. No way. I may, maybe if I've seen it, but okay. Anyways, he builds a lot of decks. Okay. Lots of decks. Um, but basically, uh, he got tired of all of the commenters saying that he could do it or that they could do it better. So they they gave Wood Bully and whoever wanted to sign up, same exact tools, same exact materials, build this in four hours. Mm -hmm. You get judged by a judge who was not on site. Who did not know who built what? Nice. This guy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. Absolutely. Huh. He's got some good stuff, and he's got some so so not good stuff. <laughs> Look, I, I we stepped away from doing decks a couple years ago just because, man, they take too much time. There's always something. That's no, thank change. you. There's always a, no. I want no more deck action. No more cabinets. It is 100% fence or bust. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. But uh, yeah, so um, we kind of uh, like restructured it. So I mean, we're we're still planning on doing the uh, like teams and the sponsor teams as well. But if if you think that you can build a fence faster than somebody else, we're gonna give you fifty foot. Ooh, okay. We're gonna give you fifty foot. You bring your tools. You bring your crew. You do. You do however you want to build it in your way and it's going to be judged by an off-site judge I who does not so see much because we're not taking tools sean need to borrow some tools <laughs> Let me get you can roll. you can participate bro i can't participate I, yeah 50 foot with the bull driver the, uh, i bet you i bet you i could knock out 50. yeah yeah even, even with the even with one and a half leg yeah. yeah 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 so that's the thing is um is if you think that you can be faster than somebody we are going to do a 50 foot challenge and uh see if you can outbuild that person we're gonna ha like have it judged is vegas are we allowed to bet on it absolutely you're allowed to <laughs> bet on it why would you not <laughs> vegas it's vegas baby just win baby win that's gonna be a good time that's gonna be a lot of fun i kind of want to i kind of want to do that i want to do that yeah well, sign up. Bro. I mean, you can check your tools and your bags. Fly Southwest. Two bags, check free. Uh, no, I no way. That's, that's a paraphernalia. I mean, what? <laughs> Susan has secretly been practicing, Brian says. Oh, uh, Susan, are you going to come out there and build a fence that, with us? Susan, be my teammate. I don't know be about that, but I have been learning a lot about chain link because Brian's been making us learn. Well, that's all that he does, though. Come, okay. I'll sign. I'll sign up if you be my teammate. He, he can't be my Say teammate. Say it again. I'll sign up for that for that competition if you be my teammate. I will be your teammate if you need a teammate. Listen, I am not scared of anything. I can't promise it'll be to your perfection, but I will do anything. Hey, we're going for fifty foot hanging and banging. It's, 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 it's oh cool. really, really, really? You said it. You gonna save the gun, brother? I pray with my play with my pretty little buttons over here. <laughs> Sorry, Miss Susan. We have to apologize for. Him. Oh man, but yeah, no. So um, we have the fence games. We have the fence uh, like competition, and then we also have the fence truck competition. Oh, I forgot about that one too. And this is something really cool because we did add. You don't have to bring your fence truck right, on right. site, but yeah. but but there's a caveat. You will lose points for it for it not being on site. Just because you can't see it, you can't you can't actually yeah. see how versatile it is. But you're still going to be in the running. I'm not. Yeah, we can take a picture of our shit. But I'm not yeah, to no. There's no way. No, in hell. I'm not driving to Vegas either. But to those people who are closer to Vegas, or even if you're not closer to Vegas and you want to drive and you want to go and um, like take your fence truck and take your tools, please put it in the fence competition because we want like six or eight fence trucks just parked and it'll be constantly secured that'd be cool and that'd just cool. parked on display for everybody to see that's what's up show you if you're proud of your rig come show your rig off come get some points for it man yeah absolutely absolutely i remember we first got our bottle wrapped in our truck i was so damn proud of them. now i'm like uh eh, something new. 
I like him still, man. I, like I like our raps. I did. Not bad. Right. Urban lot, camo, lot, baby. There's a lot better stuff out there. Yeah. Man. Well. Yeah. I want to wrap the trailers. Or I want to do a trailer. I got ah, so much money to spend and not enough money to have. There we go. There we go. All right. Well, Miss Susan, we are coming up on time. Uh, you have anything to add? No, other than, you know, I think it's going to be a great opportunity for people to get together for camaraderie, for growth. And um, I don't think there's a reason you should miss it. And uh, JC Gurry is also having their best spin sign competition. Um, I don't think you should miss that. Oh, it's only a good show competition. And we um, actually had that. dinner with Mark and Mary Cobb last week to kind of go over some details and stuff like that. I mean, there's just so much going on. You don't want to miss that opportunity. All right. Well, hey, um, JC Gurry, now that I know that you're watching, I'm going to be contacting you to uh, get some pin sign information for the show and for the company. So, uh, I'm going to call you next week. There you go. There you go. They, they might have an ad coming out in, in the May edition of the Fence Magazine. You might want to wait just a couple of days. All right. I got you. And I'm still working on that as well. Like, yeah. I have no idea yeah. how to create a magazine ad. I was like, oh, yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> well, let's sit down. Let's do it. And uh, we can we can do some ideas back and forth. We need more. Uh, we need to we can use whatever and just change some templates. We need uh, more marketing stuff. So, yeah, do try to get I'm here to help y'all too if you need help. Absolutely. All right. Well, That's hey, why you're so cool, Miss Susan K. Wood. Heck yeah. Well, I'll shoot you a text message if I have any questions because I got a good starting, but you know, I can build fence. I'm not real great at making ads. Getting my new reflective signs from them. Oh, dude. I like if it's anything like the reflective vinyl that I have on my personal truck. Love it. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. Love it. That that so you had a guy call. He goes, Yeah, I'm I'm asking you about your house that you have over here on so so. I'm like, I'm like wait, wait, say, say, sir, say that one more time. He goes, Yeah, you have a you have a sign out here on this house uh, for sale. That's I'm like, oh, sir, and he kept cutting me off. He was this man went on like a full blown five minute tangent. Yeah, we're over here at this house, we're looking at buying. Da, da, da. I was like, Sir, are you needing a fence estimate for this house? He goes, No, there's a oh, you're the you built. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I'm glad you liked our sign enough to notice it. There you go. That sign works. <laughs> there we go, baby. A sign works. A sign works, man. This fence sign was so damn good. They thought it was the for sale sign on the house. There we go. Heck yeah. That's kind of a hard. I don't know how they did that. Yeah, right. right. Miss Susan, thank you so much for coming on board. It was a pleasure yeah, having you on as always. Please don't be a stranger. Keep us in contact. Let us know how we can help you with anything you may need with the fence show coming up. We are here uh, for whatever you need. Thank you. And same to you guys. Always. Absolutely. I'll talk to you next Monday. All right. Oh, that was fun as always. I love Miss Susan. She's so much fun. That was fun as always. Well, guys. I will legit. I'll, I'll, I'll put a two-man team with me and her on the on Bill 50 feet. Yeah. It worked. All right. Well, I mean, yeah, if you're confident you're with it, in Vegas, like, oh fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not doing it. Um, uh, I don't know what is what is the what is the temperature of Vegas in September? Just hot as balls. Or um, or? Brian said it's still gonna be like um like low 90s during the day, but it's also the desert, so it's gonna cool down at night. All right. Um. So he said, bring mixed. Or bring mixed clothing. Uh, but uh, man, it's gonna be a good time. And if uh, you guys do not know, it's gonna be the week of September 11th, uh, Las Vegas South Point Hotel. Um, go to fwa.com, thefenceshow.com to get your tickets. Um, guys, like, there's going to be so much stuff there. There's going to be training. There's going to be hands-on things outside of demo days. If you're not there, you're going to be square. You're not going to be square. It's either be there or be square. Oh, wait. No, yeah. I said, I said it right. Yeah, no. You, you did. I didn't say it right. <laughs> anyway, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in tonight. We're sorry we missed last week, but we are here to stay. We'll see you guys next week. Uh, hold on. Before you do that, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, keep going. Check us out. 
on Gentry Farmhouse on our page. We are up again for the best in Pensacola competition. That's right. That's right. That's right, guys. If you get on our Facebook page, Gentry Farmhouse, is searching on Facebook. We'll put the link on here next week. Uh, Gentry Farmhouse for best in Pensacola. We won it last year, 2023. We're going to go for two years in a row, 24. So if we have any friends, you can vote every single day, once a day from a different IP address. Go to our Facebook page, click the link, get us nominated in, and then voting will kick off directly after that. So check us out. Uh, Billy, you got anything to add? We'll see you guys next Tuesday, 7 15, and we'll, like, we'll be on time this time. Y'all have a wonderful rest Take of your care. week. You guys build some fence, do some things, sell some fence. Y'all have a wonderful week. We'll see y'all next Tuesday. I'm <laughs> sorry.